Hi, Joe Alden MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival website doomandbloom.net, co-author of the greatly expanded, award-winning fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook, and designer of quality medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. In this series on placing sutures, I've showed you so far how to place a simple running sitch and a vertical mattress suture. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to place a horizontal mattress suture and a similar suture, the figure eight. The mattress sutures, both vertical and horizontal, are commonly used to close wounds that are under tension. Because the suture is looped through the skin lateral to the wound rather than directly over the wound, tension is transferred away from the wound edges to the looped lateral skin. Additionally, by having the sutures cross under rather than over the laceration, a version of the edges occurs when the suture is tightened, which allows for better healing. It's faster than the simple interrupted suture and gives a strong closure. The horizontal mattress suture is useful in areas where there is little subcutaneous dermal tissue, like here, making wound edge eversion difficult. Approximation is achieved without causing constriction or tension and possible tissue death or tearing near the wound edges. Because the second bite is parallel to the first, about half as many sutures are needed to close a wound than with a simple single suture closure. It's worthwhile in lacerations of the palm of the hand and fingers, where simple interrupted sutures may cut through the skin, some wounds that are under tension or layered closure, parallel lacerations that are close together, and scalp lacerations or lacerations with edges that are torn or irregular or have unusually thick or thin edges. These sutures, like the vertical mattress sutures, incorporate a large amount of tissue within the passage of the suture thread, and they can serve as effective initial sutures in holding the skin flaps in place, something we'll teach in a future video. The suture is also effective in holding fragile skin together, such as the skin of maybe an elderly patient or a patient receiving chronic steroid therapy. Okay, here we go. Okay, for this suture, we're going to go ahead and have the pig's foot in a vertical orientation. Now, this is not so much for me. Actually, it's not the best orientation for me, but it is the best way for you to see it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pass the needle at 90 degree angle to the skin through the near side, then go to the far side, then grab your needle, pull through so you have a short end and a long end. Then you're going to reload the needle and we're going to go the opposite way just a few millimeters down the road. We go through there and then we go back to the near side. Go ahead and pull the needle out and you see that our skin comes together nicely and now we're going to do our instrument tie. So we have two loops first to make a surgeon's knot. We're going to grab the short end and then we're going to pull across. Here we go. And you see how nicely the skin came together there. Now we're going to go ahead and do one loop, grab the end and pull across. Then so we're going to continue to pull to the opposite side each time with one loop. And there you have your instrument tie. You can do as many knots as you want. Of course, then you're going to cut the needle. Uh, and uh, you're actually going to cut the needle off of the string right a quarter inch right from the uh, last knot. And there you have it. There you have a horizontal mattress suture. Now, as a bonus, let me show you another suture. This is called the figure of eight. It's similar to a mattress suture. So you're going at a 90 degree angle going from near to far and you're grasping the needle re reloading having a sh your short end and a long end then you're going to go ahead and grab the instead of going far to near you're going to go just go ahead and do the same throw again from near to far a little bit further down the wound edge and you grasp that needle pull it across and you'll see that the stitch actually looks a little bit different it looks it's going to look like a figure eight when we're done so do your two instrument ties grab the uh, tip of the short end cross over and there you see a figure eight and you have your rest of your instrument tie loops one at a time 
cross over, grab it at the end and cross over, and there you have it. You can cut now a quarter inch from the last knot. And there you have a figure of eight. Now the main benefit again for this is speed compared to single interrupted sutures, uh, which we've shown you in the past. It's not as fast as a continuous suture, which we showed you just a video or two ago. It's more secure though. Remember, unless you're doing this regularly, you really wanna have a few separate sutures instead of one continuous one where a badly placed knot can unravel an entire closure. It's important to remember that like any muscle memory action, you can get better placing sutures by practicing. Someone asked a New Yorker once for directions on how to get to Carnegie Music Hall in Manhattan. Excuse me, how do I get to Carnegie Music Hall? The man answered, practice baby, practice. Now same things goes with placing sutures, putting on splints, applying a tourniquet, and many other medical procedures. Don't let the first time you place the suture be when you see a gaping open wound on a real person, maybe somebody you love. This is Joel Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, learn more about wound closure methods and 200 other off-grid medical topics in the Book Excellence Award winner in medicine, the fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook, the essential guide for when help is not on the way. And get your family medically prepared with quality kits and individual supplies from our entire line at store.doomandbloom.net, including suture kits. Support our mission to put a medically prepared person in every family. You'll be glad you did.